What is up, YouTube? It is the Villa Outdoors here. Today is August 2nd of 2022. It is about 7 o'clock in the morning right now, and as you may be able to tell, I am at a lake right now. We have crossed the bridge once again and are in the Garden State, or New Jersey. And we're gonna be starting out at this lake this morning. This is um, Wilson Lake, I believe it's called. Uh, looks like it's gonna be a pretty shallow lake. Lots of um, grass on the bottom, which is good. Um, supposedly this is a good spot for pickerel and there's some bass in here as well. So we're gonna try and get a few of those this morning and then probably can't see that far, but down by the road there, there's also a little spillway area that leads into a creek that we can fish. And there's also another dock over here. This is probably gonna be where we're gonna be stuck at around these docks right here. Because looking around the banks here, just scanning them, it doesn't look like the bank access is gonna be that good. Um, so we'll be refined to these docks, which is okay. I'm fine with that. And we're just gonna be casting around some soft plastics this morning. I got my six foot six St. Croix Triumph medium action. And I got a Wacky Rig Sanko on there right now. We might switch that up to a little spinner bait or something later on after I give this a few casts. And then we also have my Ultralight here. This is the Ugly Stick Elite with the Shimano Sedona 2500 reel on there and four pound monofilament. And we're also gonna cast that around and see if there's any sunfish species around. But yeah, we'll probably hop up to a couple different spots today and do some multi-species fishing but while the sun's not as high in the sky yet we're gonna get started go after some game fish if you will so yeah let's just quit the talking and get after it hopefully today is gonna be a good day of fishing might be a little bit of a hot one it's supposed to go up to 92 but we fished through the heat wave the past couple weeks so it shouldn't be a problem but yeah gonna cast out this wacky rig sanko out there let it do its thing, and hopefully there are some fish around here. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video, stay tuned, and let's go on some fish. All right guys, we're gonna be making yet another move here. We caught the one mud sunfish out of that little bog swamp area there, but not much else. We're gonna head over to another lake slash swampy area, and we're gonna try and find some fish over there. Now I'll say it again, there are four different protected species of fish in New Jersey. I mentioned this in my last video. At least that can be found in the Pine Barrens. There's more than just four protected species of fish. Um, but there is the mud sunfish, which we just caught, the banded sunfish, which we caught in the previous video that we shot in the Pine Barrens. And then there is the blue spotted sunfish and the black banded sunfish, which we have not caught yet. Notice you're not supposed to target them. They are bycatches. And if they are caught by accident, they are to be released immediately. I took a quick photo of mine, um, but we had it in the photo tank in the water so it could stay nice and healthy and then we released it properly after taking a photo. So we're gonna head over to another area, try and fish a little bit. And that is probably gonna be our last spot of the day. So hopefully it has some productivity. But yeah, I'll see you when you get there. Somewhat made it to our next spot. We got about a mile or walking or so to do. Now you may ask yourself why I'm not driving down this way, since there's obvious tire tracks, but there's no public vehicle access behind the gate that I just passed. So, to get to the water that I believe is down here somewhere, we are gonna be on foot. Hopefully we're able to reach it. If not, there is another lake that is directly behind me, about a quarter of the mile. So I can always walk back there and fish that. But right now we're venturing down into the woods. See what we got cooking down here. Supposedly there's some little swamp areas, but we shall see if we can even access them. And then I'll let you guys know. 
All right, guys, I stopped for a quick second. I just caught my fifth species of day, a little banded sunfish. Let's just get this guy in the photo tank so we can take a shot of him. All right, guys, little sunfish is in the photo tank there. Nice little banded sunfish. Pretty fish, much prettier than the bluegill we catch. We're going to go ahead, take a shot of this guy, and then we're going to release him. Time to release our little banded sunfish. We're just going to open the photo tank and send him on his way. All right, open her up. There he is one more time. Just a pretty little fish. Back in the water he goes. Didn't even really make it to the spot yet. Just fished this little ditch here. Dropped the worm in and bam. Saw him come out and nibble at it. And pulled him up. Just got my second banded sunfish here in the photo tank. Don't know how well you can see him, but I'm gonna take him out and show him off for a second before I release him. There he is swimming around in there. There he is, such a pretty, pretty fish. All right, just gonna send him back. Perfect, nice little catch and release. I think this little ditch here is full of these things. It's so awesome to catch though. Another beautiful little banded sunfish that comes up. I think that might be all that's in here to be honest. So I might go down and fish where I was planning to fish and hit this little ditch again on the way back. Alright well I said everything in there was a banded sunfish but it turns out there is a little mud sunfish in there. My second one ever. Beautiful fish. We're going to quickly release this guy. Just wanted to show him on camera real quick. Alright, little mud sunfish going back in the water here. Going to do a quick, quick, quick unhooking. He is just barely hooked. Alright, there he is. And there he goes. Alright. Successful catch and release once again. I just have tiny, tiny sliver worm left on here. I think I'm going to make my way down to where I was actually planning on fishing. And maybe hit this again on the way back and see if anything new shows up. Alright guys, I finally got... Another fish here. I believe this is a new species for me. I believe this is a blue spotted sunfish. I'm going to take some shots here and try and get some water for the photo tank. Then we're going to let this guy go. Beautiful fish though. Alright guys, we got the photo tank set up here. And I believe that is number 86 for me. The blue spotted sunfish. I'm going to take some additional pictures to confirm that. But judging by the blue spots all over its body, I assume that's what it is. Whew. I thought that was what it was swimming down there. There's a little school, had like a reddish hue to him. I'd never saw anything like that on a sunfish. And I hooked this guy, and I believe that is a blue fish, blue spotted sunfish, species number 86 for me. But let me take some shots and let this guy go. All right guys, this little guy's going back in the water now. I'm gonna release them over here so I don't spook the other ones. Alright. Alright, he's good to go. Awesome fish. See if there's anything else around here. Alright guys, this has to be a blue spotted sunfish. I don't know. I don't think a juvenile banded sunfish looks like this. Maybe it does, but I'm going to take a few more shots, but that definitely looks like a blue spotted sunfish to me. Guys, so far we haven't had, well, I shouldn't say we haven't had a lot of action because we have had a lot of bites and a lot of nibbles and I caught a lot of juvenile banded sunfish and what I believe to be blue spotted sunfish off camera. 
but what we haven't had a lot of is black banded sunfish. I've seen a few of them swimming around this area, um, but I have not hooked any. There's a juvenile one right there, too small for the hook, I imagine. He sees the worm though. They go after it, but the little ones are just so tiny. There's like five of them right there that they would even be impossible to hook on the Tanago hook, as crazy as that sounds. There's been a few bigger ones that, or at least one bigger one that has nibbled at the Tanago hook, um, but it wasn't a strong enough bite to actually hook the fish. So he just nibbled at it and went on his way. I was trying to see if I get one before I leave that way I can complete the the whole s species or whole family of sunfish that are native to this area but they are being quite stubborn got another one of these little guys here this is a little banded sunfish he's got the bars going down his side a little teardrop under the eye probably gonna start walking back soon and fish up that little channel that we passed on the way down here there's a couple little tiny black bandits right here as well once again they appear to be too small for the tanaga hook but hopefully there's a mom or dad around that wants it before we leave today i'm just going to cast around so the trout magnet into some of these deeper channels here see if there's any predatory species hiding around i know there's some pickerel that could be in here i saw a few baby ones fishing that little swampy area oh i just had something i just had something and it popped off maybe that was a pickerel i don't know but that means there's fish in here and fish that we have to catch that was literally my first cast Let me tie it better now that time. Jeez. Guys, I got a fish on. Fish on. It's a pick. It's a pickerel. No, he popped off. Oh my goodness. They're in here. They're in here. Using the ultralight probably isn't the best choice for this, but. The other rod's back at the car. But that was two bites on two casts. If that was the only two bites. There's another one. And he popped off again. Dang. Alright. We're switching up to something a little bit better than a trout magnet here. They're all over the place. Guys, fish on, fish on. Get up here. Yes, we landed one. All right, now let's get a hand on him before he pops the hook or the line. This is what I wanted to do. Catch one of these guys before I left. Nice little chain pickerel there from the Tannic waters we're gonna go ahead and take a shot of this guy and we're gonna let him go my first pickerel in a very long time all right guys we got our nice little chain pickerel unhooked here and we're just gonna to toss him back into the water vicious slimy little fellas whoa a little bit of an ungraceful release but it's his fault for sliming all over the place all right Line's a little bruised up, but it should be okay. It breaks when it's not. Anyway, so. We'll fish a little bit longer. And then we're probably going to head out of here. It's probably like 1-ish right now. Let me check my time. Yeah, 1.21 right now. 
so the fishing is going to be slowing down here soon anyway but might as well fish this little channel while we're here who knows when we'll be back down this way but just a reminder for next time someone remind me to bring the heavier rod so i cannot get broken off by these pickerel because they're all over the place in here they're they're hungry little fellows but unfortunately the uh, four pound trout line is getting the uh, most of the damage here All right, guys, we got another one on here. Let's see if this one pops us off or not. Nope, he's gonna stay on there. Oh no. Yeah. There he is. A little um, threaded, but he's all right. That's what he gets for being so slimy. I don't know if he took the trout magnet or not. I'm not gonna open his jaws and find out. But that is our second chain pickle of the day out of the little ditch just right on the other side of the pipe that's in there let's take a shot and release this guy i won't be able to give this guy a super good release because it gets pretty muddy down there but i'm gonna try oh yeah we're starting to sink we're just gonna have to toss him back there he goes even the trail of mud there's a bunch of pickerel in here i did not think it to be like this i was hoping just to get one All right, guys, we got another one on. This one's gonna pop us off, I imagine. This one's a bit bigger. Popped off, but he didn't take the trout magnet. Now that we caught two, I don't have to be too frustrated about losing them. They're very abundant in this little channel. Oh, there's another, another fish and it popped off. Let's see if another one will pick it up on the way back in. Yep. Oh, that one broke us off. All right, well, so I don't lose all my trout magnet gear today. That is probably gonna be it for the fishing. Now that I know what spot to come back to and what spot not to come back to in the Pine Barrens, I think we'll definitely be back at this spot. Just this area has a lot to offer as far as the different areas that you can fish in. And it holds some pretty cool stuff as well. The fact that I can just stand at this ditch here and just cast over and over again and hook up with pickerel after pickerel is pretty cool. And the fact that we saw all those different sunfish species today is also very cool. Caught definitely one new species and probably two new species, that being the mud sunfish and the blue spotted sunfish. Now I'm not 100% on the blue spotted sunfish, but I'm also kind of am. <laughs> but um, I'll get some confirmation on that and I'll leave the caption at the bottom of the first one we caught just to confirm the identification for you guys. But today was pretty much everything I wanted it to be. Hopped around to a couple different spots. Um, I cut out most of the first part where we were at the um, lake because we just caught some basic stuff there it wasn't really anything too too special um probably gonna leave most of, the, of um this spot in because this spot worked out really well for us and probably took up most of the video but yeah good day to fill you in on the stuff i caught this morning at the lake i caught a um little golden shiner bluegill and red breast sunfish that was all i caught at the lake um, so pretty basic stuff. And then here I caught mud sunfish, blue spotted sunfish, hopefully, banded sunfish, and chain pickerel. I also saw a few um, black banded sunfish and creek chub sucker as well. 
So definitely we'll be back at this spot to try and catch some of those lifers that I know are around this area, but I haven't seen or caught yet. That being the Eastern Mud Minnow. And I know there's one other one, but I forget. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Try to make it a little bit interesting for you guys. So all the gear that I used today will be listed in the description below, at least the stuff that I caught fish on. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next episode of The Bill Outdoors.